So Arturo, we just wrapped up two very full packed days here at the AMET conference in Amsterdam. And one of the things you and I were talking about earlier was there's been a lot of discussion around insight. So when you think about reflect over the last couple of days, um, what have you know? What have your thoughts changed? How have they changed when it comes to what's an insight for you and how you think about it? Well, uh, first of all, let me tell you that this has been a great conference, a great opportunity for me to meet with industry leaders, uh, to networking, but also to understand better what are the trends uh, in the industry in terms of media measurement and also to present our work. In UNICEF, we are very committed to improve the work uh, that we do around communications and to, to be more efficient and effective in the way that we measure the impact of our work. Um, today we receive a lot, a lot of information. You know, UNICEF is present in, in all over the, the world, in more than 192 countries. And for us it's very important to understand the impact of our work. We receive information uh, from traditional media, from social media. But our managers and our communication people, um, they, they're, they're quite impressed with the impact. I mean, numbers, you know, followers and impressions on social media are, are quite, quite, quite big, quite big, quite good. But um, sometimes they ask, so what? What, what really means you know, these, these numbers? And I think it's important that we as communication professionals can translate those numbers into insights. Insights and, and, and can, that can help you know, our managers to make decisions and really change the way that we communicate based on the numbers and the results and based on the impact of our work. Great. So it sounds like this, you know, insight is really about being able to say the so what. Exactly. That's, that comes up all the time. I mean, we, we present the result of our campaigns with millions or billions of impressions, tweets, retweets and followers, but then they, they always ask uh, so what. So for us it's very important that we are able to translate the impact of, of those numbers into um, decisions that will help us improve our work. Yeah. That makes sense. So the theme of the conference was upping, upping our game, right? And um, thinking about your team and what you're charged to do at, at UNICEF um, and the impact you're trying to have, what are the things that you see uh, that your changes you might be doing or, or, or have in the works when you think about upping your game within your team, your organization? We, we're actually changing quite a lot the way that we work, the way that we do communications within UNICEF. Uh, we're about to launch a new global communication strategy which uh, has very ambitious goals. Uh, we, we're planning to reach uh, one billion people in the upcoming four years with our messaging and we are hope, uh, hoping to engage 50 million people uh, online but also offline um, through our campaigns and, and initiatives. And in, with the launch of the new global communication strategy, we also want to, to put in place a very comprehensive monitoring and evaluation uh, framework. Uh, and we're working with Gorkana actually to, to make it happen. Uh, Gorkana is helping us to, to design a program that will help us track the impact of our work on traditional media, but also on social media. And then integrating all the numbers, all the, all the data that we get into meaningful reports that we can also share with our managers and people who are interested in the impact of, of the communication that we, that we do. Well, that's great. Well, it sounds like it's been a very productive two days for you. Yeah, it was. It has been. I mean, uh, meeting so many people and really learning a lot from experts in, in media measurement. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Arturo. No, Have a great you. evening.